<laughs> it's the rock's first first actual operational mission flight as isn't won't be a total loss let's get some of this other things going let's go to the moon impactor let's fly that one <laughs> oh I swear that wasn't on purpose that was just stupidity okay here we are moon impactor turn this thing back on precision control back on remember my rant of earlier um, so you won't need that anytime soon. Man, <laughs> I really screwed that up. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, what's this thing supposed to do? Uh, it's really simple. We just want to get this thing into orbit around the moon. And I think we know how to do that. Done that a few times before. Here, set that one as target. Okay, where's my vehicle? There it is. Descending node is all the way over here, so we need to fix that. We lost Bill. We lost Jossarian. Lost Skyro. Man, we never even got to see Skyro. He is, he is, he's locked in the closet during the whole thing. He's like, hey guys, what's happening? BAM! <laughs> he's gone. Oh, that's evil. Okay, there we have mac matched inclinations with the moon. You guys know the drill, right? So let's just set, let's put a maneuver node right up. Yeah, let's put it like a few minutes ahead. Just give us time to play with all the options. Good. Okay, prograde. Let's go times 10 on the prograde. About that much. Yep, about that much. Okay, and we move the, th the thing forward in time until it looks like we'll have an appropriate... Uh, intercept thing. Okay, getting close. Let's drop down to times one speed. Moon periapsis I'm over a million. Oops, hang on. Oh, it's doing the thing where it flickers back and forth. That's always fun. Drop that down to, let's see, go with our standard like a uh, hundred kilometers. Or 74. Doesn't really matter. Actually, 74 will work, won't it? Good! Okay. Uh, yeah, move this thing down there. And let's move that thing over there again. Set our alarm clock. Add for the maneuver node. See, this thing uh, estimated burn 52 seconds. So yeah, we'll give, us our, give ourselves like a two-minute warning on it. That's, that's my useful. That's my default. Add alarm. Good. I just mean, and I'll I'll try to avoid some trouble in that. Uh, I'll wait, and we'll, we won't be doing. We won't be trying to to handle both the moon impactor and the Minmus impactor at the same time, because that way lies madness. Okay, there's our little distributor cap, alternator kind of a thing. Actually, I think I kind of like this style, the whole tuna can. Or, you know, it's a tuna can spaceship with the, the pancake lander. I think, I think I might try to imitate that some more in the future, because that, that seems like that's that may be good. Right, we'll see how it works first, you know, if it, if it actually goes and lands and stuff. Yeah, I, I like my... it's kind of it's kind of ugly, but it's simple, and it, it actually, I don't know, looks kind of like a, almost like a genuine... Like real life spaceship, sort of. <laughs> cool. Okay, okay, so now. Oh wow, this got. You can definitely see the low resolution. I had to. Having the performance issues, it definitely dropped a little lower resolutions, and they're really visible right now at this particular altitude. Let's look this way, not look at that so much. Uh, node in T minus 55 seconds. We're gonna wait. Yeah, so we just got like about 20-something seconds to go. There we go. And just modulate the throttle so that we try to finish the burn 26 seconds on the other side of the maneuver node. Where's that moon? Yep. And just coincidentally, we start the burn as the moon is just coming up. Ain't that just amazing? 
Yeah, throttle back some. So we're losing the mass of all this fuel. Oh, I actually missed it. Oop, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. All right, good. Yeah. I wasn't being really too precise on that one. Let's kill this maneuver node so I can tell what I'm looking at over here. What's our new periapsis? Ooh, 13 kilometers. We can fix that, though. Matter of fact, there's, let's just... Where we are, let's turn that RCS back on, thrust backwards some. Give ourselves some more margin of error. Take it up to, like, 100. Good. About like that. Yep. All right. Yeah, the launcher may have been a complete fail. It, it looked it looked cool. It was stylish, but it was a failure. But this, I believe, this should be a good a good little vehicle. This is this is the little the little moon impact impact moon impact. Did I say moon impactor? I believe I did. I'd appreciate it if everybody would just be so kind as to ignore me when I say silly crap like that. And uh, yeah, the Un Impactor is is being a, a very <laughs> a very it's a pretty it's a pretty good little little spaceship. I like it. Uh, more time compression. Let's get it up to that sphere of influence. And if this works, the alarm clock should take us out of warp as we approach the maneuver node. I mean I mean the sphere of influence change. It's not a maneuver node. Thank you. And it gives us 30 second warning before we hit that. That's to keep the physics from doing screwy things as we pass through there, as they are occasionally known for doing. Game is kind of stuttering, stuttering. There we go. We has a sphere of influence change. Uh, we don't actually need to do anything different. I started to think about, because the last few things I've done have been these mappers, I started to think that I needed to alt alter my inclination dramatically at this point, but no, I don't have to. And we'll just get this roughly circular. It doesn't have to be perfect because really of our two our two docked vehicles here, one of them is going to go smack into the moon and the other one's going to land, so I don't really care about a circular orbit all that much. Circular-ish is just perfectly fine. So what's that? It's a 97, 103. Yeah, that's circular-ish. How's our whole fuel supplies and everything? Yeah, it's about half of that thing. So that's okay. Yeah, I think I think as previously expected, I loaded too much fuel onto this. But as I, I don't know, that was that was one of those provisions against stupidity. Having too much fuel, that's a, that's a good uh, 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 stupidity corrective me measure. contingency plan <laughs> against the advent of stupidity upon upon our missions. <laughs> Although I think the the actual physics away these engine exhausts work the the I don't believe this vehicle could this this engine could have the specific impulse that it says it does in the stats. You have to have like a high specific impulse in vacuum, don't you need kind of like a long, narrow exhaust bell? Isn't that the way that works? I believe it is. So this this, this flat engine, even though it works very nicely for, for the purpose, as far as putting the, the piece together, it is it is kind of fantasy. Uh, a, a real probe, it would not work that way. Sorry to break it to you. Okay, Moon Impactor, just hang loose up there. Get a good view of that moon, which you're very shortly going to be impacting. And we are going to, you know, meanwhile, back a, a Kerbin impact, a Kerbin orbit. The jackass, we have business with this one. Okay, so we should, let me see, we should already, this one have its uh, orbit, its inclination should be matched with Minmus, right? Minmus at his target. Yeah. So let's put a maneuver node a few minutes ahead. It was time to play around with this thing. Yeah, something like that. Good. Now go to tens and we'll go time wise, go forward. Be careful not to go backwards because you just can't 
uh, as much as you would like to have a maneuver node at a negative time, it just it just flat out it doesn't work. And just ignore what all this all the histrionics of those other lines looping around all over the place. I'm not interested in you. I don't care where this where this vehicle is going to go after it it uh, encounters Minmus. <laughs> okay, good. There's an alarm uh, maneuver node set up, so let's give it an alarm. Yep. Okay, close alarm. So with this, ah, uh, this one, it doesn't know, it doesn't remember, but okay, but I can remember, I can use my good old memory here. Uh, what the last one, the, the estimated burn was like 52 seconds for a nearly identical amount of Delta V from a Delta, from an identical vehicle. So, yeah, I'm going to wait till like 26 seconds and then we'll start burning. Yeah, 26 seconds before the node. Oops, slow down, slow down. Ah, too much time compression, you idiot. It's okay. It's ain't, you know, it doesn't have to be exact or nothing. I almost made the rocket science joke, but then I decided not to. Yeah, as being too obvious. And kill that engine, and let's just creep up on it slowly at this point. Whoop, whoop. Okay, okay. Map's doing kind of crazy screw things. Uh, yeah, we, we may have to fix that later. Let's. Whoa, all right. Okay, cool. C kill that maneuver node just so we can take a look at what is going on with this whole encounter. What's it over here? That's. Oh, hey, that looks like that's probably an impact. <laughs> well, look. You know, that's, that's actually. That's. Uh, that, that serves our purposes. That will work. Yeah, I think that from from here, uh, I don't have to do anything else with the impactor. I just once we get there, we just have to cut cut the impactor loose, let it let it smash into there, and then we'll uh, go for a landing with with our with our uh, pancake lander. What's it? Yeah, let's just do it that way. In which case, this thing's still got a whole lot more fuel than it needs. Cool. Kill that. Uh, how much time we have before it gets over here? Like a day and 11 hours? I think we're actually going to wait. Uh, let that thing go on its way. Now let's switch back to, uh, yeah, the moon impactor. Control that vessel. Okay. So now I think at this point, is there anything else that I wanted? I think I just want to go ahead and uh, decouple, undock these guys. Thud, like that. Now, let me see, am I controlling this one? I am. Uh, leave the SAS on. Let's just RCS gently away. Yep, that works. That's uh, okay. Change over to the other vehicle. Why did this thing suddenly turn on? I don't want that thing turned on. Okay, pull that one back up. Good, 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 good. That's at this point before I forget it, because now we're actually going to look at uh, completing the mission with this with this device. Uh, we need to select mission package. Oh man, we screwed up that mission. We're never going to get it. Oh, it's very, very sad. Space race. Uh, this one is going to be crashing is fun. No, crash for science. That's right. Science guys are real excited about finding a legitimate reason to blow something up. With the moon mapping satellite in orbit to record the results, crash a probe into the surface of the moon for science. Select this mission. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, it's too bad that crashing on, on Kerbin doesn't give us any useful science because I'm really good at that. 